No! No! Round number 100 for me. It's like from here, Peter Burrow's about to take the corner. Oh! Oh no! 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 Let's get straight into it and make the ground. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is Saturday the 2nd of December 2023 and today we have game number 48 of the 23-24 season on this channel and we've also got my 100th crown which I'm really excited for. But anyway, we're heading to the Western Home Stadium for Peterborough United versus Doncaster Rovers in the FA Cup second round. So in today's video, I've got my thoughts pre-halftime and post-match as well as the match day vlog itself. And because it's a new ground on the channel this season, we're going to rate the ground as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We are in the Charters Bar. Oh, it's nice. I don't know. Alright, so we're in the Charters, we've got a lovely bar there. Loads of food stuff, even hookered up. So definitely want to have a go on. A bit of Scooby Doo and plenty of seating. And even the stage over there, absolutely lovely. Right, so food wise, we've gone for the chili obsessed. We've got all the nachos there, it looks absolutely incredible. We've got three samples over here, so definitely check this out if you're in Peterborough. Come on. Well, I've never had a mold line at football before, but I've got a mold line right here to walk down to the ground with. So, look forward to trying this. I'll let you know how it goes at the end of the video. Here we go then, we've arrived at Peterborough, ground number 100 for me, so very happy to sit this off. Hopefully we can get an upset in the cup. Let's see how the match goes. Cheers, thank you. Oof, bit cosy. Aaron. Which <laughs> way? Okay, so it's time for my pre-match thoughts then. So we're going to start off with the host, Peterborough United, and they currently find themselves in fifth place out of 24 teams in League One, which is one of the playoff spots. So the last result was a 2 all draw away at Stevenage on Tuesday night. We were also in the round and playoff spots, and they've been a tough team this year, Stevenage, especially at home. They've been, under Steve Evans, they've been very hard to beat. Uh, unusual Steve Evans uh, shit out of it. Um, but yeah, run beating in the last three matches, winning two of the three, and then obviously that draw with Stevenage. Um, they've actually scored 11 goals in the last three games, so they really are, like I say, firing the back of the net. That is almost an average of four goals a game. Um, so yeah, typical of Peter Brother, do, they are always, they do always tend to be a team that do score a lot of goals. Um, ever since, like I say, I've been watching, they've always been known for the strikers. And um interesting thing here is they managed under Darren Ferguson, who's obviously had several spells at Peterborough. And what makes this interesting is he also used to manage Doncaster Rovers and our manager Grant McCann has um had at least two spells as Peterborough manager and he also played for him as a player. So bit of an interesting one with the uh, managers here. We've always said they've been a bit of a merry-go-round <laughs> with them alternating between Peterborough and Donny and going back for spells so obviously McCann's going to go back for his third spell in a couple of years but hopefully not anytime soon um, so yeah it's an interesting one with Ferguson McCann Derby so I'm interested to see how this is going to play out on the day 
And as for my team, Doncaster Rovers, we are currently in 17th at 24th in the division below, which is League 2 with 7 wins, 2 draws and 10 defeats so far this season. Um, so our last result was last Tuesday as well, where we had a 3-1 home win against Colchester United, which carries on a bit of a theme, as I was saying before, crew of we've now won 3 and lost three in our last six games. Um, so that inconsistency is still there, but at least now we are on a one-game winning streak, um, whereas, like I say before, we were on a losing streak. But it's that inconsistency. We seem to be winning one, losing one all the time this season. We never seem to be getting a streak of wins going. But I suppose on the good, the good way of looking at it is now, since we had that first win, we've not really had a losing streak as such as well. But if we can improve that consistency... Um, like I said, I think we will climb up the table. But one thing that is a worry with that consistency is the defence, in my opinion. We've only had one clean sheet in the last 10 games. You can really see that is where the problem is at the minute. Um, Ironside and Foul, like I say, they are firing at the minute and um, playing rather well when we can, when we can uh, get the chances up to them. Um, but the real problem seems to be the defence. We just can't keep a clean sheet and we're making some sloppy errors, to be fair, as well. I mean... Even not even defence like midfield as well. We're giving the ball away pretty cheaply against Colchester. And I think if they were a bit better team, they could have punished us. But luckily, like I say, we had a lot of luck with winning ball back in the second balls and the rebounds and stuff like that. And you feel like, you know, it went our way that, um, It went our way on Tuesday. But you can't ride your luck on that because, you know, it's not going to go your way every time. And when it doesn't, it's going to punish you. Um, but other than that, I thought we played pretty well on Tuesday um, I, don't, I wouldn't say brilliant but decently well um, Colchester weren't a great team I didn't think um, but we did the job and we beat them uh, and that's what you've got to do they're the games that you need to win and um, we did that once we got that second goal it seemed to we seemed to look a lot better um, when we went back in front we were playing a lot better but we still gave them chances which I'm not too happy about but nevertheless got to take positives and move into this cup game so moving on to my prediction for today then, do I think we're going to cause a bit of a cup set or do I think Peterborough are going to win the whole match and get into the third round? My prediction is... I feel an upset. I'm trying not to be biased, but I do feel an upset. I think, you know, we're the underdogs. You feel with Peterborough, like you say, playing team from Division below, it might... Division below, sorry. It might feel a bit, you know... I don't want to say like you're kind of expecting to win, but it can sometimes hit you. So they've got to be careful, um, and you know you never know how they might rest a few players. Um, whereas I feel like we'll play a pretty strong squad, and McCann wants to do well in the cup. Um, and yeah, I just think I'm just feeling the cup set a bit like Hull. I think we're going to go there and really take it to him. I know McCann will want to get one over his old team. I'm sure Fergie will as well, but. I just think I just think we're going to do it. So I'm going to go for Peterborough United 1, Doncaster Rovers 2. Anyway, there are my thoughts before the match went to my 100th round. Really excited for this one. I've watched to do Peterborough for a while. Unfortunately, there are train strikes today, so we are on the supporters coach. Uh, which is a shame because I want to do this on the train because it is right next to it and there's all sorts of pubs around it. But we'll make a good day of it nevertheless. So let's head on back as you'll have seen in the pre-match how we've done. So let's head on back. Um, to at Peterborough to see how the match goes and get ready for kickoff. Go on, Ollie. It's gone 1 0 to Peterborough already. It's him, a pretty simple ball into fair, cross the ball in. Since it's bounce in front of Jones and then go all the way into the net. So, yeah, not, 
not a great one all around defence, goalkeeper, anyone on that pitch really, we should defend that better, but we've got a long way to go, so fair, 87 minutes still left, um, we need to open terms around, but we'll do it quickly, so 1-0 to Peterborough, so far. Oh no! Oh come on! Scramble. Ah. Yeah, That's the old time in modern football. A few wooden seats. <coughs> Good job we're standing because they don't look comfy to sit on. Well, another 10 having far too much time down here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah! Lads, for fuck's sake, come on, that's too easy. That could have easily gone in. Come on, lads! Shit, oh, good save, Gibbs! Good save, come on. I need to spend better than that. Wait, that's way too easy, come on. Good save, Louis. Louis Jones has kept in this so far. They could easily be 3 0 up here. Half an hour ago, still 1 0 to Peterborough. They're absolutely killed us, to be fair. I mean, it should be easily 3 0. Louis Jones has kept in this with two pretty good saves. Oh, one on oh. one. It's just. Yeah, it's just it's just shocking at the minute. Um, we are taking it forward alright, but at the back we just look like conceding every time they come forward. Some of 10 down left on wing is killing us every time. We really shame us up otherwise. Could be a bit of car crash here. Still Rovers nil, Peterborough one. Go on, one there down. Ah! 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 Oh, close this yet. It's literally seconds before half time though, we've just missed a great chance to go into the half level. Um, to be fair, we've come back into it last 10 minutes after a fair ball. It has Peter has looked like getting more chances. If we went for Lou Jones, it could be easily three or four, but we've come forward it last 10 minutes and we've looked more likely getting a goal, but it's going to be tough for the second half to get a goal. It's fair. Not, you know, not making it lightly, but it looks like it's going to be 1 0 at half time. Half time, 1-0 to so at half time, it's Peter United 1, Doncaster Rovers 0. Um, ever since I've been watching football, Peter United have always been known as a very attacking team, and um, they're really showing it today, to be fair. They are they look so dangerous going forward. Um, but we're struggling quite a bit defensively to um to keep them um to keep them at bay. Um if it weren't for Lewis Jones, we really we could easily be two three down here and um he has really kept us in this in terms of the first goal um yeah it was just a bit of a mess overall between keeper and defense personally for me i think it's more defensive error than the keeper's error because one of the first rules of defensiveness is don't let the ball bounce in the opposition's box and that's exactly what they did and like i say with curve on ball and wind just moving about all over the place and jones is expecting defense to deal with it and it's kind of curled around him so yeah, I do. Like I say, it's one of them. I think it was just overall bad defending. Um, lovely ball in, but we just didn't deal with it. Let ball bounce, and it's gone past everyone. Um, we look all right going forward. To be fair, we look like we could cause us some troubles going forward, but we haven't really got a team there. Number ten on the left wing, he is just running uh, rings around us. Literally, he we just can't stop him, and um, we really need to keep hold on him if we are gonna get anything out of this cup game. Um, or it's going to be a long second half. So, anyway, speaking of the second half, let's get back to Peterborough and see how the second half went. Oh. I saw Charlie at Lincoln. Oh, I like Charlie. Let's feel it. 2 0 3, but I can't lie, I didn't see the goal. I was down um, down having a beer and um, I've got like a burger hot dog. Yeah, uh, whatever. Situation is for that hot uh, big one, so. Got in the hot dog bun, um, but nevertheless, two of us beat Renau, we didn't see the goal. Um, but yeah, we're about 55 minutes in now, we've got a lot of rest to do. Um, we don't see the bad standard from people who did see the goal, but I um, have to take the highlights and see how we did. But nevertheless, two 0 down, we've got a lot of work to do if we want to stay in the FA Cup. One! Ah! Here we're going to first substitution of the game, Tom Nixon coming off for Tommy Rowe. Let's. Hopefully, see if he can do something against his former club. Shit. Oh, great block. 
Look how eyes look on the rim three. One! Yeah! Oh no, fuck off! Fuck off! No! 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 Oh, you are! Oh. oh, for fuck's sake! Offside for some. Oh, no, no, no. Well, we're on point with 2 1 ball. The flag's gone up. It looks like it's gone off for offside, but it's in very harsh to me, so if I, in my opinion, it should be 2 1 right now. Um, look, it's, it's been a pretty back and forth game since I've last updated you. It's been Peter was having chances, Ray was having chances. It seems pretty level at the minute, but obviously, a 2 0 lead. Um, so, obviously, as of now, obviously, you'd say they deserve it. Um, it's been a pretty year and a half from what I've seen. Obviously, I didn't see the second goal, but from what I've seen, it's been a pretty year and a half. Um, it's still not over. We've still got a long way to go. Let's see what can happen in the remainder of the time. It's still 2-0 to Peterborough. Now then, Mo Fowler with a beautiful header. He should have had a goal before that, to be fair, in my opinion. It should be 2 all now, but nevertheless, 2 1, game on. Hopefully, we can get to this now. Like I say, when you 2 0 up and you get that goal, it tends to swing in your favour. So, hopefully, like I say, now we've had that goal, it can really swing in our favour. We can push on and try and get the equaliser and tap house winner, but it's a long way to go. People are a good side, we're still pushing forward. and it's going to be a hell of a task if we're going to get anything out of this game, but if we can, it'd be fantastic. So I still blame lads. Let's keep pushing. Still, still losing two one, but let's see how this game goes. Come on, lads! Come on! Help him! Help him! Ah! Look at him! Finally got us back into it. Rancho, appreciate you. Here comes on, let me uh so Mel Fowler being replaced by Tyler Roberts. Let's see if Tyler Roberts can get us back into it in these last few minutes. Looks like from here Peter Burroughs is about to take the corner. <laughs> it really sure looks like it is. <laughs> Set up for a left foot and Peter Burrow corner. Would have been better off with Peter Burrow. Nine minutes at a time. Let's see if we can get an equaliser. Come on, you Reds. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Oh, oh no, 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 he's in a fucking bar. No. Wow. Into injury time, just in the bar. Deflected off the defender on the second uh, follow up shot, and somehow we still haven't scored. Oh, it's. Oh, we really should have scored there. It's such a shame. We really should be back in this. We've done so well the second half. We've kept it at bay so well the ball. At the end of the day, we're still one goal down. We have really got to get a goal from somewhere. We've got nine minutes by the time. Hopefully, we can get it. So let's see what happens. Soul people two, Rovers one. Well, Louis Jones is up then. He's got the last chance. We have got to make this count. What? A ball. There we go then. Full time, two one to Peterborough. Decent effort from last to be fair, but wasn't enough in the end. So at full time, it's finished Peterborough United 2, Doncaster Rovers 1. And that were a lot better second half performance. I thought we were real stuck in there and gave a pretty good Peterborough team a good run for money. Um, yeah, they went 2-0 up not long after the break. Like I said, I missed the first 10 minutes of the second half just being down in the concourse with a fair and a drink. And 
a bite to eat. Um, like I say, these vlogs aren't going to be perfect, so it's kind of my might stay experience. So, you know, sometimes I might stay down there a bit longer. Sometimes I might get the full game. It just is how it is, isn't it? Um, but yeah, um, looking back on highlights, it looked like quite a good finish, to be fair. But that gave us a big mountain to climb in the second half, and we really did our best to climb that mountain. Um, like I say, fouls, offside, goal. Looking back at it, it's, it's very close. I mean... It literally could have gone either way, I think, there. But, I mean, you know, you get them sometimes where it don't go your way. Um, another week, we'll probably get one where that decision does go our way and another team's going to be dis disappointed. So, it just is what it is, isn't it? Um, but, like I said, not long later, he did get his goal, another header uh, to put us, um, you know, just one goal behind. And then, unfortunately, we just couldn't get that second goal. Like I said, we hit the bar in injury time which were absolutely devastating because he was such a lovely strike as well. And, um, yeah, good second half performance, in my opinion. We seem to be playing well in the second half at the minute. Like, at Crew, we had a really good second half spell. And we're looking good coming forward. We really are. We're just, just that final ball, final shot. If we can get that sorted. And most importantly, get that defence sorted. We, you know, we'll be a decent team. But I have faith in the team. I think we will get these teething problems sorted. And um, I think the season's just going to get better as... Um, as the season goes on, I think some of these inconsistencies are going to come. Um, it's just going to take a bit of time to sort them all. Okay, it's time to rate the ground now. So if you've not seen my videos before, how we do this is each ground we go to um, in the season, we give them a rating out of five categories. So we've got pre-match, catering, uh, the ground itself, the atmosphere, and the overall enjoyment of the day. So we'll give them a rating out of five and then put them into a table for the season. So... This time it's Peter United to turn me 100th ground. So how did they do? Let's find out. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and rate the ground. So we're going to start off with pre-match then. And last weekend I gave Crew a 4.5 out of 5. And to be fair, looking back at it, I thought I should have given him a 5. Um, I was kind of telling myself like I might have been a bit harsh. I gave him a 4 out of 5. But today is kind of the reason why. They got a 4.5 out, four out of 5 and... Peterborough are going to get higher than that. Um, this were absolutely superb. Like you saw the um, the area where we were. Um, like I said, the food um, the food was superb. Uh, drinks were superb. It was just I know it's kind of done up a bit for Christmas market, but that beer garden's there year round, and so is um, the pub. Um, fortunately, it was full downstairs, so um, we went in the beer garden. But it were absolutely freezing, but it was superb. Like I said, the nachos were absolutely delicious. Pints were good. We even had mulled wine, which. Um, couldn't take your drinks out, but you were in a coffee cup, so I managed to drink it while I was walking down to the stadium, which were nice. Kept my hands nice and warm. Um, so yeah, pre pre match for Peterborough, absolutely superb. Not only that, you've got other places like an over main parking. There's a pub there that's supposed to be good. There's a spoons in city centre, which isn't too far away, and plenty of other places that are away fan uh, friendly as well. So pretty spot on to be fair for Peterborough. So this is the reason why Crew got a four and a half. Peterborough are going to get a five out of five next up we've got the catering and it's it's not the best to be fair i mean to, to give them credit they could have easily not sold us alcohol because they didn't have it in the concourse but they have a section outside where they open the emergency exits and because it's fenced off they can like let you go out for a smoke and have a drink um out there which fair play for that because there's a lot of clubs that won't do that northampton spring to mind with that uh, they won't let us out at half time to use the um use the mini bar just outside. Uh, it's fair play to Peterborough for that. Um, but overall, it weren't great. Like I said, the concourse inside were extremely cramped. I didn't even use that. I used like a burger stall outside, which was quite nice. Um, drinks, it's just kind of like bottles of Carlin. Um, you know, nothing great, but at least they are doing stuff. So not ideal, really. Um, quite similar to Crew last week, to be fair. Um, just below average, I'd say. Um, so I'm going to go for a two out of five for the catering. Next up, we've got the ground, and it's quite a tricky one, this, because I really like Peterborough's ground. I really liked it. Uh, but I'll be honest, it could really do a lick of paint in places. But they are improving it because, like I say, I've got two really modern and new stands, and then two that aren't so modern and new, which one of them was where we were in, which had, like, wooden seats in. I think you were up to the top, it was a bit of a restricted view. But nevertheless, I really like it. I love these old-school grounds. You don't get many of them about nowadays, especially in football league. So it is good to... Um, to experience it now and again um but like i say I could do a lick of paint but i do really like this ground um and in terms of league one as well i'd say it's probably one of the better ones um 
So yeah, quite a tough one to judge. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three and a half here because um, I really, really like it, but it definitely could do with a lick of paint in some places. Next up, we've got the atmosphere, and once again, it's quite a tough one to judge here because Peter didn't have that many weight bin. An FA Cup, they do what we usually do, where like I say, they shut one of the stands. Um, so on a league game, the atmosphere is probably better than that. But I thought we made some really good noise, um, especially when, like I say, the goals were going in and we we're playing well. In the second half, we really got behind the team. Um, you can tell, kind of like I say, with the way the roof's designed, how closed it is, you can make a decent atmosphere. So, not bad to be fair. Pretty, pretty good. I'm sure when it's bouncing, it's going to be a lot better than this. But based on what I saw today, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. And finally, overall enjoyment. I had a superb time, Peter. A really, really good time. Um, despite the result, it was a fantastic day. Really enjoyed it. One of my favourite away days of the season. Um, from the second we got there, um, going to, like I say, that outdoor bit. Everyone was super friendly. Um, had a really good time. And um, I had a lot of fun with the match as well. It were a pretty good match with fair, very back and forth. And um, unlucky not to get a result, but nevertheless, it's been a superb day. Um, you know what? Go on, I'm going to get a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed this. Well, probably probably is my favourite away day so far of the season. So, it's getting its second 5 of the video. So, that gives Peter United a very good score of 18.5 out of 25, which puts them 5th in the table for this season. Uh, level on points with Boston and Leeds United. However, the deciding factor when it's level is overall enjoyment. And Peterborough are clear of both of them too. So, real enjoyment time, Peterborough, like I say, Friendly fans, um, really, really good in terms of stuff to do before the match and a really enjoyable day. So, like I say, thank you, Peter, for making us feel so welcome. And um, unfortunately, we are out of the cup now. Uh, Peter have drawn against Leeds United. So, good luck against Leeds. Hopefully, you get a bit of a cup set. Um, but I am going to leave the video here. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 2,000 subs now. So, let's get there as soon as possible. So... The next video on the channel will be on Tuesday night. We've got, uh, we're back to Cup Action in the EFL Trophy for Doncaster Rovers versus Nottingham Forest under 21s via hospitality as well. So that'll be good to show you all what goes on there. But until the next video, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.